Today we will perform a dynamic analysis using Hypermesh and LSDyna. We will simulate a typical bird strike case in which a high velocity impact occurs between a bird and an aeroplane wing during takeoff or landing conditions. To perform this analysis, we will implement the smooth particle hydrodynamics or SPH method. We will observe the stress, deformation and pressure plots while post processing. So let's get right into it. I have already created a base model K file. We will use this file to start setting up the analysis using Hypermesh. The link for this K file is provided in the description. Feel free to download it and use it to follow this video step by step to get a clear understanding of the overall setup. The first step is to create a section and property for all the parts in the model. We will assign a different thickness to each part and also create different materials for the parts. From the user profile setting, make sure that the user profile is set to LSDyna. Now we will import the base model K file as a solver deck. Select the K file in proper selection box. With all other settings as default, import the model. From the view panel, switch on the solver browser. We will use the solver browser to set up this analysis. As you can see, there are three parts in the model. The outer wing surface, ribs and the spar. 2D shell mesh has already been created for all the parts. Now create section shell. Provide a name to it. Enter value of thickness T1 as 5 mm. Now let's duplicate this section for the ribs part. Change the thickness value to 2 mm. Again duplicate this section. Enter the value of thickness for spar as 1 mm. Create mat mat 1 to 50 power law plasticity. Enter a name for the material. Let's enter the default mechanical properties of aluminum. For this analysis, we are using the unit system millimeter, kilonewton, kg, millisecond. Consistency of units is crucial for any analysis to run properly using LSDyna. Let's duplicate this material and provide a different name. Now enter the mechanical properties of steel. Let's use yield stress value as 0.6 gigapascal. Now we will assign the section and material to all the parts. For wing, set section as 5 mm thickness and select the aluminum material in material selection box. For ribs, set section as 2 mm thickness and select the steel material in material selection box. For spar, set section as 1 mm and select the steel material. Now we can start with the most crucial part of this analysis setup. We will define the bird using smooth particle hydrodynamics or SPH particles. Typically, for experimental testing of this type of simulation, a bird mass of 1.8 kg is used. I have calculated the geometry dimensions based on this standard mass and we will create the geometry accordingly. To define the SPH particles, we need an enclosed volume with bounding surfaces. This step may seem a bit difficult and confusing as a lot of geometry creation and editing tools need to be used. 
watch carefully so that you do not miss out on any of the steps. Right click, create, part, part. Provide a name to this new part. Now open the nodes tab from geometry panel. Select the interpolate nodes option. Select the nodes on opposite edges of the wing. Create the center node. Press Shift F4 to open the translate panel. Select the center node. With direction as Y axis, set the magnitude to 500 mm. Translate the node in positive direction. Clear the selection and select the same node once again. Duplicate the selected node. Let's translate this node by 189 mm. Now open the surfaces tab from geometry panel. Select the cylinder creation option. Select the bottom node as the first node and normal vector as the second node. We will use radius value as 49 mm. Set the height as 189 mm. Create the cylinder. Now select the sphere creation option. We will again use radius value as 49 mm. Create a different sphere for both the temporary nodes. Now press Shift F9 to open the Surface Edit panel. Set Radio button on Trim with Lines. Select the sphere surface and select Cylinder Edge as the line. Trim the surface. Do the same for the second sphere. Open the mask panel by pressing F5. Set selection box on surfaces. Select the outer visible surfaces and mask them. Now open the delete panel by pressing F2. Delete the internal extra surfaces. Press Shift F2 and clear all the temporary nodes. Now unmask all the surfaces. Press F11 to open Quick Edit panel. With tolerance as 0.1, toggle the red edges to join them. Now we have an enclosed volume bounded by surfaces which can be used to create SPH particles. Press Ctrl F and search for SPH. Select the Mesh Create SPH option from the results. Now set the selection box to Surfaces. Select the newly created surfaces. We will use density value as 1E-6 which is equal to the density of water. As the bird material should be very soft, the properties of water can be assumed for the bird part. With all other options as default, create the SPH particles. Now we can delete the bounding surfaces. The SPH particles are now clearly visible. Now let's create a section and property for the SPH part. Create Section SPH. Keep all settings as default. Now create mat mat 1 to 50 mat null. Let's enter the typical values for water. 
the null material requires an equation of state to be assigned to it. Create a new EOS of the first type. Provide a name to it. We will again use the C, S1 and gamma 0 values for water. Now we can assign the section, material and equation of state to the bird part. For more information about what these parameters actually are, I suggest you to go through the LSDyna user manual. It is not possible for me to explain why each of these settings need to be defined in this video. Now that all the parts have been properly defined, we will create contacts to observe the interaction between the different components. After the contacts have been created, we will also define the boundary conditions for the dynamic analysis. Let's take a look at how this is done. Right click, create, contact, automatic nodes to surface. Switch the slave and master selection box to components. Now select the bird component as slave. Select the wing, ribs and spar as master entities. Set MPR to 1 to output master side contact forces. We will use the static and dynamic coefficient of friction values as 0.2 and 0.1 respectively. Check the box next to additional cards and set soft option to 1. Now create boundary SPC node. We will select all the nodes on the fuselage side of the wing and constrain them for all degrees of freedom. Create, set, set node, set node list. Enter a name for the node set. We will use by collector selection criteria to select all the nodes from the bird part. Add the nodes to the set. Create initial initial velocity generation. Switch the drop down to node set ID. Now select the node set we created in the previous step. We will apply a velocity of 130 mm per millisecond in negative y direction. Now we will set the analysis run parameters. These settings will control the total duration for which the analysis will run and the time intervals after which result files will be written out. We will also define some additional cards to extract specific outputs from the analysis for post processing. Create Control Control Termination Set the end time value as 10 millisecond. Now add the control energy card to the model. We will switch to the second option for all settings to compute the energy dissipated by all forms during the analysis. As we are using SPH particles, it is necessary to add the control SPH card to the analysis. Set the IDIM option to 3 as we are using a 3 dimensional domain to run the analysis. Now add the database binary D3 plot card to the setup. Let's use DT value as 0.05 to output the results. Similarly, add the database option card. Check the box next to glstat and enter DT value as 0.05. Do the same for max sum option. We will also output the SPH data after same intervals of time.
The analysis setup is now complete. Let's export the solver deck as a K file which will be run using LSDyna manager. Create a new folder for the run. Make sure to use underscore in place of space while saving all file names to avoid any errors during the analysis run. The setup is complete and we can now run the analysis using LSDyna solver. For this, we will use the LSDyna manager. After the run is complete, we will observe the stress, deformation and pressure plots on the wing surface using Hyperview. After opening LSDyna manager, click on launch LSDyna analysis button. Now select the K file which we exported from Hypermesh. Set the N CPU and memory options as per hardware specifications available. Click on run to launch the solver. This will take some time to solve. I will pause the recording and resume when the analysis run is complete. As you can see, normal termination was achieved. Let's close the console and LSDyna manager to view the results in Hyperview. Select the K file in load model option. Select the D3 plot file in load results option. Apply the results. Now we can see the model in graphics window. Let's create a new set of nodes to visualize the SPH particles properly. We will use the by ID selection criteria to select the nodes. As the bird component ID is 4, enter 4 in field. Add the nodes to the set. Now switch the draw style to sphere. Let's use draw size value as 5. We can also change the color of the particles as desired. Now go to contours panel and click on apply to view the displacement results. Set the legend type to dynamic and numeric format as fixed. Let's play the animation. This will take some time to play as many animation frames need to be loaded. We can clearly see the impact of the bird on the wing. Select result type as stress and set averaging method to simple. Select the wing part in selection box. Apply the results. The stress contours on the wing surface can be visualized. Similarly, we can also view other results like bending moments generated in the model. We have successfully simulated a high velocity bird strike on an aeroplane wing and visualized the stress results using Hyperview. And this is how we can perform a dynamic analysis using Hypermesh and LSDyna. If you like this video, please hit the red subscribe button and give a thumbs up, it helps a lot. Make sure to follow me on social media to stay updated about latest video content. Thanks for watching.